So, um, tell me about your proudest achievement. Well, I have to say the proudest achievement of my life is the birth of my beautiful twin daughters, Tycone and Vimeira. As soon as they was born, I held them in my hands and I was like, I almost dropped one, but I held them in my hands. But as soon as they both was born, I realized that I'm a father now. And that was by far the proudest moment of my life. I want you to tell me about your greatest achievement. Well, uh, my greatest achievement ain't really happened yet because you guys didn't hire me yet. So once you guys hire me, that'll be my... No, 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 wait, 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 wait. My greatest achievement, yo, my goldfish survived two weeks, yo. Today is his two weeks birthday. As soon as I leave, me and Marty, we're going to celebrate. That's his name, the goldfish name. We're going to celebrate, yo. I'm glad to hear that you're a family man. Um, I would like to ask you, who are your heroes? Well, I have to say the heroes in my life are definitely my parents. They really set standards in my life that I have no choice but to, uh, to follow in their footsteps and do better than they did. And they did a pretty good job. And uh, I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for them. So I want you to tell me about who are your heroes? Who do you look up to? The heroes I definitely look up. Yo, you seen that new Superman vs. Batman trailer? Actually, no, yeah. I haven't. I'm sorry. Well, Batman in that joint, he really dope, yo. He got batterings. He got his utility belt. Yo, he's definitely the hero I look up to, like, oh, all the time. No. It's just like, I, I can't believe I'm sorry, believe I was that. actually he's talking about like, real heroes. Are you able to list any? How you know Batman is real? But... Real hero has to be uh, Mike, my PO. You know what? My PO, my my POP hold it down. My you know my parole officer, my parole officer. You know, ever since I first got caught and sent away to jail, he okay. told me he was like, listen, if you get if you get in trouble again, you're going away for life. And from that moment on, I start doing things more sneaky, and I decided not to get caught again. So are you willing to relocate? Well, uh, anytime um, you guys need me here, I'll be here. You know, like, like I said, I'm a family man, but then my family knows that I'll do anything to provide for them. So I'm to be here and I'll definitely be here. Okay, so are you willing to relocate? If relocate? You know how long it took for me to get here in the first place? I took two and a half buses. I have a bus because I didn't pay for the other one. I just snuck them through the back door. Oh, by the way, yo, do you got a token I can borrow? Like, no, I'm sorry. I uh, don't. Anyway, if you guys relocate, I'm not going because I don't get nothing. So. All right, thank you um, for your time. That's um, all for today. You did leave your contact. Oh, yes, I did. Two more questions to do. Uh, okay. Alright, um, thank you. Well, thank Mr. you so Washington. much for having me. Have a good day. You too. That'll be all for today. Um, but we'll be getting in contact with you. Getting in contact with you? Yes, that's... How? I don't even have no phone. But that's the policy, sir. Pop? Y'all can't tell me I got a job right, right now? No, we cannot. You, I told you, I took two and a half buses to get here. I understand yours. that. That means I got to take five buses to get back. If you took two to get here, how are you going to take, why would you need to take five? Listen, the only thing you need to tell me is that I got a job in that. Oh, I can't tell you that. Listen, all right, I'll be in the hallway. All right. Goodbye.